Hi, happy Friday. I am linking up with my little life from 5crickethalos.blogspot.com for the five question Friday answers. So I have my laptop right here. I am in a spare bedroom. I hope it's not echoing too bad, but it's a snow day around here. So all the kids are home, including Brandon, which is our teenager. Um, he's a nephew who's staying with us. And I am um, trying to have some privacy to get this video done. So the five questions, let's start with one. Do you embrace or dread snow-code weather days? I certainly don't embrace the shit that we're having right now. It is snowing and icing. We are in North Carolina, and we don't get snow that much. We tend to get more um, cold weather, but not too much snow. But it's snowing right now, and it's icing. The roads are awful, and I certainly do not embrace that in any way. How I embrace it, actually, is staying inside, in front of the fireplace, in warm, cozy clothes. Which game show or reality show could you totally win? Question two. Ah, uh, you know, my husband can get, like, every Jeopardy question right, but I can't hardly get one right. And I would say that I would pick Family Feud because the answers are pretty simple, and I don't watch it that much no more, but when I did, I pretty much could breeze right through it. Three, what is your preferred climate? I am a tropical girl. Both my children were born in Florida. My family lives in Florida, and, um... I kind of bounced between Indiana and Florida growing up. I like it warm, 75, 80 degree weather. California weather, Florida weather, any kind of tropical warm weather is all for me. I don't do winter. What do you buy every time you walk into the grocery store no matter what? Well, I have a 9 or 10 year old little son. And every time I head out to go to the store, he always wants me to pick him up some candy. So, that's pretty much what I get every time. And for me, I generally get um, sugar. I am a sugar girl. I love sugar. I use a ton of it, and it seems like we're always running out. Five, if you see a spider or bug in the house, are you brave enough to kill her, or do you have to call for your hubby? My answer to this is not going to be your standard answer. First off, I am not scared to kill a bug. I'm not scared to get rid of a dead mouse. Um... I'm just not. But my son um, is a hunter. He is 10 years old and he hunts with his father who I am divorced from. So I can't really like tell them what they can and can't do. But I've been trying to teach Jackson that all the animals are God's creatures. And around here, if we find a spider or a bug, we do our best to get it in a cup or get it in something and put it right back outside where the spider belongs or the bug. Now, I have four Persian cats, and I'm not going to lie, if they see a moth flying around, there's a good chance they're going to eat it. Um, but that's kind of like the laws of nature, and I understand that. But for us, I really don't feel comfortable just killing animals. Now, I'm not Buddhist. Don't send me a bunch of emails asking me about that because I don't know their all their beliefs. But I want to teach my child that just because it's a little spider on the wall or a moth flying around or a fly, what right do we really have to kill it? Um, it's still God's creature. And I'm trying to instill in him that we just don't kill things for sport or for fun. So we do our best to take the animals right back outdoors where they belong. And we've done that for a couple of years now. It's actually working really good. Um, I was very proud of my son when I walked past the bathroom not too long ago, and I saw him praying over the toilet, standing there, head bowed, and hands interlocked. And I kind of stood at the corner to watch what was going on, and I hadn't realized that his fish had died, and he was standing over the toilet praying that it got to the other side safe. So maybe all my work is starting to really pay off, because, you know, I understand it was just a goldfish, but the point of it is, is that it's God's creature, we don't have the right to take its life. We don't have a right to take any life um, unnecessarily. And um, I think my point was made when I saw him praying for his goldfish. So I thought that was beautiful. And um, those are my five answers. So I hope you have a beautiful Friday. We are staying in. I'm making a big pot of potato soup. And 
um, staying in front of the fireplace and keeping warm. So if you're out and you're living in an area where it's freezing, please be careful driving. Make sure you have an emergency kit. Stay indoors as much as you can and bring your pets inside. You don't want them freezing. So have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.